All right, good morning, everybody. We're talking about the prophet Elijah and his little hiatus when he ran from Jezebel and uh, had this me alone complex. Nobody like me. Remember that song? Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows but my sorrow. <laughs> you remember that song? Well, Elijah got into one of those moods, and we're all going to have days when it appears like there is nobody in the entire universe who's going through what I'm going through. Like you're out there all by your lonesome, you're left alone, uh, pity poor girl, pity poor boy, sorry for me, etc., etc. Now the background of this story is, he had just called fire down from heaven. Elijah challenged the false prophets of Baal. The whole nation was in revival. The people were crying out, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. Well, when that was done and the prophets of Baal were eliminated from the contest, Jezebel sent a message. That's all she did. Not, a, not a, a soldier, not an army, not the hit squad. A message. And the message said, let the Lord do the same thing to me, Jezebel, if by tomorrow this time your head is not off of your body. She threatened him with decapitation. I'm going to remove your head. I'm going to kill you. Well, Jezebel was not known to be a woman who made idle threats. Ladies, if you're going to threaten, follow through. <laughs> don't just threaten it, you know, you don't do what you're supposed to do. Follow through. Good morning, good morning, Dharma. And so he ran away and uh, is under this tree when the Lord comes to him. And he says, you know, I have been jealous for the name of the Lord, which was true. And... Uh, Nobody else is standing up with me. I'm the only one who is uh, standing for God. Well, that wasn't quite true. Because later on he was going to be told that there's this gentleman who had hidden 50 of the prophets in one cave and 50 more in another cave and was feeding them bread and water so that they could be sustained and protected from the wrath of Jezebel. That's a hundred right off the bat. There are a hundred more just like him, as zealous, under the threat of death, eating bread and uh, drinking water, and they weren't complaining. And then, of course, the Lord was going to tell him, I have thousands more who have not feasted at the table of Jezebel, nor have they bowed uh, to Baal. You're going to have days and times when you feel like you are the only one left. Let me quote you a scripture. There is no temptation taking you, but such as is common. That word common means normal, regular, everyday, humdrum, a dime a dozen. Such as is common to man, but the Lord will, with the temptation, it doesn't say he's going to remove the temptation, but along with the temptation, so you're going to face the, the hard stuff. Make a way of escape that you can be able to bear it. So, A, there's an escape, and B, whatever the thing is, it's bearable. You can handle it. You can deal with it. You, you were born for such a time as this. You know, that's what Mordecai told Esther. Who knows whether God had brought you to the kingdom for such a time as this. God would not give you the life to live that you're living now if he didn't know you could live it. You could live it. You could handle it. You could deal with it. You can do all things to Christ who strengthened you. And so for those of you who are today feeling only the lonely. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, no, no. We're not going to play that only the lonely game. You are never alone. You've got help. You've got a support system. You've got a God who promised to never leave you nor forsake you. You've got the stuff of champions as... as uh, this, uh, this guy who gives motivational speeches, Les Brown, would say, you've got genius in you. 
And it's true, it's not a lie. Hi, Marlo Passard, you've got genius in you. And so face the issues of life. Stand up to that test. Show the devil a fight. Give the devil a war. Don't you lie down and cry. Don't you roll over and die. And don't you go apologizing to life for being here that, you know, I'm sorry I'm alive. My mother shouldn't have made me. It, look, it's too late for that. What did the man say in the song? It's too late to apologize. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. I have no apologies to make. Yes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I am here. I am alive. I am affirmed. I have a right to be here. God is with me. I am not alone in this fight. There are 7,100 more just off the top of my head that I can list who are in the fight with me. And together, we can make it happen. Two shall put 10,000 to flight. Uh, hi, thank you, Norma. Roy Orbison. <laughs> She's naming the singer. So you go out there and have a good day. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you and make you a blessing. The boom is out.